Hey guys, this is Goldie again and in this video I will show you how you can access and use uh, template gallery in G Suite in Google Docs, uh, Sheets and Slides. Uh, you can use lots of templates which are provided by Google and you can also submit your own templates based on your company's branding policies and then you can use those templates. So let's see how we can uh, access and use those. For now, I will go to Google Docs, but you can also access them from Google Sheets and Slides the same way. So for that, I'll click here and I'll go to Google Documents. When I land to Google uh, Documents, I should be able to access the template gallery by clicking on this link, as you see here. When you click here, you will open that whole template gallery where you see the templates which are provided by Google. Uh, based on the categories. So this is the work category and you scroll down you will see other categories like sales where you get proposals and other uh, stuff then you have legal category and so on. But next to it what you see is the name of your company or your G Suite uh, organization. When you click on that you should be able to see the documents that your colleagues or your G Suite administrator might have submitted here. So uh, you can just access and you know create the documents from your templates too. In case if you don't want these templates to appear here, what you can do is click on this settings uh, link and then here you see templates, display recent templates. If you uncheck that, you will notice that all these templates will go away and will give the full screen layout. For me, it's fine, so I'll go back and click on settings and have these templates uh, appearing. Now let's talk about submitting these templates. So if I go back and if I see this button which says submit template, now the, there is a difference between uh, G Suite Editions. So by default, you uh, when you use G Suite Basic Edition, which means uh, you pay five dollars per user per month to Google. In that edition, anyone can submit the template as soon as that uh, person has the editing rights to that uh, document or sheet or slide, and that is also shared with other people in the domain. So anyone can submit the templates. However, in case if you are using G Suite Business Edition or Enterprise Edition and then you should be able to define who can submit those templates and I'll show you that in a minute. So for now what I'll do is as a user I'll click on the submit template where I can select the document it will take me to my uh, Google Drive where I can just go ahead and select the document and I can then submit it in the gallery and once you do that you should be able to submit uh, its copy or the actual document itself and then here you should be able to choose the category so by default you will see some of the Google uh, default categories but your admins can also create custom categories that I'm gonna show you in a minute so as you see here, see here this G Suite deployment in Google Aurora these are my custom categories which I created as an admin so this is how uh, you know you can select your gallery, you can put the title and then you can submit uh, your template and then onwards whenever your users will go here uh, in your own template gallery they can see that they can uh, use and create documents with that. So this is how you submit in case if you are a user and you're using G Suite Basic Edition. Now let's go ahead and uh, go to G Suite Admin Console and see where you can add more categories and so on. Oops, seems I need to log in. I'm gonna quickly put my password. And once I am in my G Suite admin console, I will need to go to Google Drive. That's where I can make these uh, changes, including adding and deleting the categories. So for that, you can either click on these apps icon and then under apps, you can go to Google Drive but I can show you a quick way. So in the search bar simply type templates and then you will be clicking on this one which says uh, Google uh, or G Suite and then setting for drives and docs. Click on that one and then you will be landing to Google Drive settings where you will see this template section. Click on that. Here you will see a few options. The first option is enable custom categories for your custom templates for your organization. If you uncheck this box, then people or your users in your G Suite domain will not be able to use the custom templates. So when they click here, they will not see this 
anything they will just see the Google default templates and it it is not possible to disable Google templates even if you disable this one they won't see your own templates but they will still see the Google provided templates so for me I will just check back this and then uh, in categories you can either uncheck these categories in case if you don't want these categories to be appearing when your users submit their templates or you can also add your custom category as I did here so to add you will just type in uh, for example test and you will add that category and it's added it might take some time for this test category to appear when your users are gonna submit uh, templates in case if you want to uncheck any of these just click on uncheck and then you have a couple of options the first one is that you can just leave it as it is and save it and if you do that uh, all the templates that you already had in this category will be marked as uncategorized but in case if you choose any replacement category from here then for example if I choose uh, this G Suite deployment all the templates which were in basic now will be appearing in G Suite deployment category and then I can simply save it so this is how you uh, create categories now let me show you a couple of other option in case if you are running G Suite business or G Suite enterprise and or maybe G Suite uh, for nonprofits or education edition then you can even have uh, more controls and you can define who can submit these templates so let's go to uh, my sandbox in instance where I have G Suite enterprise so here is my enterprise edition where you see that I have a couple of more options this one says template submission settings where if it's open as it is by default uh, in G Suite basic anybody can submit the templates till the time they have the editing rights to that document and that document is shared with people in your organization and then you also get the option to moderate it uh, moderate it that means if anybody is going to submit the template it will come to G Suite administrator either the super admin or anybody who has a special privilege that's called uh, uh, docs templates privilege that person will receive an email and in case if that person approves that that template will appear in the template gallery else not and then the last one is restricted which you might have guessed that means only the G Suite admins with docs template privilege should be able to submit the templates in template gallery though it really depends on your organization but I guess going with the uh, moderated should be uh, should be considered so that's the difference between additions uh, so this is how you can uh, leverage your G Suite template gallery and you can give more options to your people you can retain your company's branding policies and and so on so just wanted to show you that hope it was helpful as usual in case if you have any feedback or any questions just put your comments below and I will be happy to help thank you so much